So these big changes are likely to have little impact. Teachers we spoke with. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean joining us live from Kirby Smith Middle School. Joe, the district did say state testing will be affected. And that's really going to be the biggest update for the district under these new CDC guidelines. Duval County Public School says it's now comfortable testing a whole classroom full of students at a time. So it's going to be more like normal testing conditions on an average year. But as far as the day to day, we're hearing that not much else is going to change. The CDC cut the distancing requirements in half for schools, but Duval County Public Schools said it's not changing its COVID-19 safety rules. Mask requirements, temperature checks, and frequent hand washing will still be a part of students' day. Even those desk shields are staying, though the CDC said it's unclear if those actually help stop the spread of the virus. The district does say it wants to make Duval homeroom or virtual students as comfortable as possible taking the upcoming state tests in person. There will be a five to six foot distancing and extended hours for those test takers. But some teachers tell me the daily classroom setting isn't likely to change that much. Our desks aren't able to be separated, separated by six feet anyway. It was always three feet. Those kids have never been six feet apart. Those rooms aren't big enough. And it's the same on Duval County school buses. How are these new CDC guidelines going to affect transportation? We don't expect them to impact the bus industry at all. Um, as you remember, when this first started, Dr. Green had identified that they would be unable to socially distance the children on the buses, and that has been the case. Some parents tell me they think the relaxed rules are coming too soon. Right now, they should be more worried about the children as far as their health, because you never know how the, the COVID is going to affect their bodies. So I don't think it's real cool that they're doing that. Other parents that I spoke to said uh, they're not that worried about the new guidelines. They say as long as the children are able to learn effectively, they trust the agency. Uh, I also reached out to other local school districts in Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia. A lot of them are on spring break with closed offices, and we didn't hear back from the others. Reporting live tonight, Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station. Joe, thank you. Well, we wanted to know what you say. At five, we asked, do you agree with the new three foot rule in classrooms? Here are the results. 30% of you say yes, 57% of you say no, and 13% of you say students shouldn't be separated at all. Thank you for voting.